Armageddon-like weather warming given for Ireland by a weather documentary and what it reveals. This brings to mind what I in the past read concerning St. Patrick's prophecies concerning Ireland. Ireland. We know that he was the first Bishop of Ireland in the 5th century and he gave a lot of prophecies concerning Ireland. One of them would be that in the end times Ireland would be sinking and he would be helping in that era, in that time. That was one of his prophecies of Ireland sinking. Now uh, concerning what this news has to do, we have various simulations of sea level rise Earth global warming, and how that will be affecting coastal areas around the world. We've also had a simulation with, uh, for example, Manhattan and New York, and we've had the East Coast, West Coast of the U.S., but we also had simulation, similar simulations for the U.K. Now, the way things are standing now, today, the U.K. is being bombarded with, with record rains, and so many rivers have overflown their banks, there has been areas uh, totally inundated and flooded, people's homes up to the knees with water. And the f fact is that the houses there, they look like the houses in, in the United States, row houses in New York, for example, but they don't have basements. At least the houses in New York, you know, in the U.S., Canada, have basements. They don't have basements. Most of them don't have basements in the U.K. And if you look at the houses, they're only one step above street level. So, you know, it's not like us where we have stoops in the United States and you go up five or six steps because you have to go higher than the basement. Uh, at, if anything floods, basically would be the basement that floods, not the main house. But in this case, it's the opposite. They don't have basements, so their houses get flooded. Their electronic devices, everything. Now, uh, this is what the situation is with Ireland. It's getting rain. It's getting flooded, and in a couple of days, they're expecting record snow and freezing temperatures. Uh, Sean Martin tells us about what's happening there on Express UK. He says Ireland could be facing an Armageddon weather scenarios in as little as 30 years because of global warming. That could change the face of Ireland, the Green Isle, the Emerald Isle, and its weather systems. Of course, the simulation says that most of Ireland will be flooded, most of the UK will be flooded, the only thing will be sticking up out of the water are some mountain ranges. But that's a really pessimistic view, I hope, and it's not going to be the case. But a new documentary reveals the true devastation of this melting ice, North and South Poles. And, uh, of course, it will cause a tremendous climate change. As we see, we already have a, a, a graph showing what the past 30, 40 years of sea level rise has uh, come to. So... It's not only, though, the melting ice caps that contribute to sea level rises. It's also the weather systems which dictate Ireland temperature. And one of them, of course, has to do with the Gulf Stream current. A new documentary called Will Ireland Survive 2050? It's only about 30 years from now. It's on RTE. And it examined the future climate predictions of Ireland and, of course, the UK. And they're not good. Ireland can expect, they say, temperatures in the summer to rise by an average of 3 degrees Celsius, uh, more average annual rainfall and more snow, and sea levels will rise up to 80 centimeters in the coming decades. That's about, what, 2 feet. A lot of this is due to the weakness of the Gulf Stream, they say, the warm ocean current which steam stems from the coast of Mexico. The Gulf Stream is what brings warm temperatures across Europe, coming first towards uh, the UK, Ireland, the UK, then towards bringing warm weather towards Europe, and Northern America, keeping them both warm during the winter months. Otherwise, they would be really, really bad off uh, with many ice ages. Uh, so, during the warm, the, during the winter months, they bring the warmth, taking the cold water in the opposite directions. But as global temperatures get warmer, the ocean activity is becoming weaker, and that again affects our climate, and it becomes a visual cycle of sorts. Scientists are saying that uh, if Ireland warms, it, become, it becomes a severe effect on their country. 
Gerald Fleming, the Senior Consultant in Operation Meteorology and Weather Communication, states in the documentary, he says, I expect Irish weather forecast to feature more floods, more droughts, and more prolonged cold snaps. And then flooding expert Dr. Barry O'Dwyer says, he's from the Marine Renewable Energy Research Development and Innovative Center. He says, in terms of sea level rise, by 2050, we're probably looking at a region of 40 to 50 centimeters. Now, internationally, the expert body on this is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and they're the ones projecting for a 2100 increase of the 80 centimeter, two feet rise by the year 2100. They say in case of the city like Cork, it's very significant when we look at the quay walls, we see what 80 centimeters mean in terms of coastal flooding in the city. In addition, we have to think about the increase in frequency of intense precipitation events, intense rain. And you can imagine we will have increased levels of water coming down the River Lee, and on top of that we will have a sea level rise plus a storm surge. A 1 in 100 year event will become a 1 in 20 year event, and maybe a 1 in 10 year event on a yearly basis, or maybe on a yearly basis. And Dr. Ger McCarthy from the Department of Geography at National University of Ireland in Maynooth says that the climate in Ireland could become similar to the climate that Iceland has right now. Winter temperatures in Iceland can reach as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius, while snow tends to fall from December all through March. Dr. McCarthy says if the Gulf Stream shuts down completely, we might expect an 8 degree cooling around Ireland, thus transforming the climate of Ireland into the climate of Iceland. We don't think it's a likely scenario. What we think is a very likely to happen is that the Gulf Stream system is going to slow down. We expect that to happen by 30% by the year 2050. But Mr. Fleming, who, is presented, who, who presented the documentary, said there's still hope. He says we could slow down. For all our sakes, we should give it the right old, a right old go. Okay. Very, being very... Uh, British about his uh, old chap and old go things. Okay, and then we had, I found something on Live Science by Douglas Maine. This was an older article, October 15th, 2012, concerning what happened to the Gulf Stream in 2011. It went more than 100 miles north at that time. It also, um, what happened was that the fishermen uh, from the fishing companies of uh, North United States noticed stronger currents and higher water temperatures than usual. So they told the people from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in Massachusetts to find out what was going on because the water was unusually warm because of the fact that their fish wouldn't be there. The fish would go to colder wa waters and that's exactly what happened. So they would lose money obviously from their fishing companies the study by the scientists published uh, suggested that the cause was the direction of the Gulf Stream, the current that ferries the water from the Gulf of Mexico northeast to the Atlantic along the U.S. east coast and then going off across the Atlantic to the U uh, Ireland, UK and Europe. And they found that the center or the core of the Gulf Stream was diverted as much as 125 miles or 200 kilometers to the north of its average position. And in late October 2011, temperatures increased at two deep water sensors as much as 12 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, you know, that's almost like Florida water, uh, which is very unusual in the water for the waters of southern New England for that time of year. It's also four degrees Fahrenheit higher than temperatures have been at one of these locations in the last 10 years. And what happened was that um, the warm water stuck around for months into early 2012. These were strange conditions and they had effect on marine life near the edge of the continental shelf, the underwater extension of the North American continent that creates relatively shallow waters until it uh, abruptly drops off. And it's home to abundant fish. And the studies uh, in Northwest Water show the temperature increase of 4 degrees Fahrenheit caused major northward shifts of the population of the Silver Hake, 
which is a commercially important fish for the fishermen. So they had to go north because the water was too hot. So they lost their fishing uh, you know, inventory because of that. And they say it was because of a possible reason could have been by uh, the cause of heavy rainfall dropped by Hurricane Irene, affecting the course by altering ocean salinity. Another possibility, it was jolted northward by an eddy of cold water off the southeastern United States, appearing the fall of 2011. Typically, the Gulf Stream only indirectly influences ocean currents and temperatures near the continental shelf south of New England when eddies separate from the Gulf Stream and drift north, causing limited warming. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.